signor Guanciale, quello è il problema. Eh, eh, no, eh, così. Questo è il paese. Se mi dai il pancetto, pancetto non lo faccio. Questo no, la pancetta non la faccio, la pancetta. Ah, la pancetta, giusto. Tu apparezzi che la pancetta. Ma se lo racconto stamattina va bene? Sì. Ma signor Virginia. Hello you all there, today we're going to make a special dish, we're going to make the spaghetti carbonara. And we're lucky to have a specialist in the, in the house now, it's Alessandro Rosoli, and he's going to explain us really how we have to do it. But first of all, I'll explain you the ingredients of the recipe. What you need is fresh eggs, you need pecorino, you need parmesan cheese, you can use dried pasta spaghetti, or you can use the fresh ones, fresh spaghetti. And you need no pancetta, but you need the cheek of pork, okay? This, you need some pepper, and that's it. Rosoli, please come here and show us how we have to do it. So normally, uh, it's one egg yolk per person, if you don't know really how it is. It's one egg yolk per person, so if you're, if you're four, you use four egg yolks. The fresh eggs, fresh from the, from the chicken this morning, you see the really red color. So you separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. Oh! Sono troppo fresche. Sono freschissime. We have two special guests today in the kitchen. It's Vito, the owner, and his brother. You're going to taste it. Also, you will see in many recipes the carbonara has thousands of recipes. Some, some put cream inside, some put um, also shallots inside, or they use pancetta, but the real recipe is only these ingredients. Two thirds of uh, pecorino, one third of parmesan cheese. You mix the ingredients together. Wearing a mask today because he doesn't want to see you show his face. <laughs> you can take off the mask or something, no problem. So people can recognize you when you go to the restaurant. Now this is ready. Only the egg yolks, we have the parmesan cheese inside, pecorino and some pepper. That's it, basically. Now the sauce is going to show you, first of all, how we do the, the, the cheek of the pork. It's going to fry in the pan with no extra oil, just the fat of the pork. Then we put it in the pan. Like I said before, no oil. Just we put it in the pan, the stream hot pan, and, and it's in our own and, um, it, and it's gonna melt. And we're gonna use also the fat of the pork in the carbonara. So in the meantime, Alessandro was hiding this. He was adding some cooking water in the yolks. Okay, so yolks. Some of the water of the cooking. We have the pepper inside. We have the pecorino inside, and we have the parmesan cheese inside. Okay. Now, first of all, it's very important to do first the cheek of the pork. And once you're ready, we're going to throw the pasta in the water. Always the same. The cooking water, there's always salt inside. Don't put too much salt because the chicken can be very salty. And there's the end result and also the pecorino. Okay. This is a guy, we found him in the, in the restaurant today. And he, 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 I think he's a specialized in making uh, Never love, when I'm not ready, mai, quando cucini tu. Mai. Never love, thanks for that. Non ridere mai, eh? Thank you. It's very important, you see, to take all the fat out. We're going to lower it down a little bit. But you see, it's the, mo the most important thing is that you get the cheek crisp. Okay? That's it, not more. It gives extra flavor to the... But watch out, when you do this, just straight still in the yolks otherwise you're gonna make an omelette or you make a scrambled egg. Once we're done with the cheek we throw the pasta in the water and we can go. We're gonna make two portions so uh, portions is about like 60 70 grams of pro a portion not too much because otherwise it will be quite heavy it's a quite heavy dish also I know everything goes quite quick so that's why I said make sure whatever you do the prep is really important so have everything ready your grated parmesan cheese, your grated pecorino, your egg yolks have to be ready, your pancetta has to be cut, your pepper has to be ready, the water has to be boiling, the pasta has to be in the water, and then everything goes in very, very quick. Do you see the crispy? So you bring it in a bigger bowl, the pasta comes straight out of the water, add some cooking water because it gives flavor, there is starch inside so it binds much better, and then we're gonna put it in the chicken inside. Guanciale buonissimo. Yeah. That's why. If it come, if it works out today, it's thanks to the pancetta, not to the skills. Thanks to the pancetta. <laughs> so now the spaghetti is cooked. Dry it first up. So dry. Don't make, put any water now inside. You're gonna mix with a fork like this. And if you see it's not moist enough, 
add some cooking water. Just mix everything, put the cheek inside, continue mixing. And for sure we don't gonna put any salt more so because you know pecorino is quite salty, parmesan is quite salty, so normally we don't put any salt. So we're gonna add also a little bit more of fat of the, of the cheek. You see, but it's very important. You're, we're not making a scrambled egg here. We're making a moist, everything is moist now. Everything is creamy. This is the original recipe. And once you're wrong, really go there at Rosholi, they make a fab fabulous uh, um, spaghetti carbonara. It's worth going to Rome only for this, okay? And then it's just the plating now. Like you see also, there's nothing, no herbs inside, no parsley, no basil, nothing. So we're gonna plate it. Vito and Andrea are gonna taste it. And I broke my digestive, uh, in case I need it. I got one, I got me. I'm a bunch of professionals. So, in my opinion, this dish, so, as inside itself, everything that you expect from a typical Italian dish.